so the other day, um, Justin, the programmer for uh, A Crooked Heart, we had a meeting. Uh, it's been a while since we had a meeting, and we had a great meeting the other day. Just look over the animatic, um, look at all the actions and the animations that I have, and try to figure out what is going to work and what might need some tweaking. And sometimes, especially when I was creating this animatic, I wasn't taking into consideration that we're dealing with the 2D game, that I'm not moving the character in depth. I'm not moving him from uh, foreground to background at all, or her in this case. We're staying along a, a one-dimensional sort of uh, plane. Like, I'll show you what I mean. Um, when we have sprites, when we have the backgrounds right up, whatever, so when we're playing the game, it's going to look like this. So we're going to see him her fall, and that really sucks. Um, but really, we're just going to see this flat image that has perspective drawn into it. But all it is is this. So we have all of this um, collision geometry in here so that our character can step on it, but it's all hidden. It's all an illusion. It's all there to make us to give us the impression that I'm actually walking in this world, um, which is one of the things I'm having a hard time with as far as like getting right, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so with that, since she is only working in this, this plane here, there is no depth to it whatsoever. If, let's say, well, this, let's say this is her. So we have, this is where she'll be moving back and forth, back and forth. And we can't, we can, we can pop back and forth this way in, you know, like foreground, background, foreground, background. But it doesn't make sense unless there's a reason why we should do it. And I can't, it, once we start doing that, we have to scale the character down a little bit. And it kind of, it interrupts the overall gameplay, in my opinion, in our opinion. And so what we're having to do is I have to take into consideration that the fact that we're going to be um, on that plane to uh, beat the horse even more than it is. So let's get back to animatic. So what what I was doing, what the problem was, is while she's in this plane, when she gets dropped in here, she's fine. She's doing all of this, and since this is going to be a non-playable, uh, non-interactive um, event here, she's going to jump back here and we'll have her back there the whole time. We're not controlling her at all. And then we'll have an animation where she does this and hops back up here. Now we have control of her again, so we can stay within this plane. Now, what I had after that is I wanted her to have this cool little thing where she leaps up onto the lockers to, achieve, to reach this bag, but now, suddenly, this axis here, or this X, X plane right here, is now moving further back in, in depth. So basically, we've taken um, let's bring back uh, stop it. So let's say this image, for instance, this is the image that she's on right now on the boxes. And basically, what we're saying is, if she moves to the lockers, she's physically moving back like that. And I know maybe it doesn't make sense if, like, um, for those of you who are just like, what the hell are you talking about? Just let me play this damn game. Then. It seems small and, and almost like, why does it matter? But it absolutely does. And we have to figure out ways around this. And as I'm saying this, I'm sure there's probably someone out there that's like, man, that's not a problem at all. I totally know how to fix that. But this is my experience right now, so that's what we're talking about. So what, I ended up, what we decided to do is to, I ended up, covering this area here so we didn't give the player any sort of idea that you could jump up there. So automatically we were telling the player you can't jump up there so don't bother trying. Well you can try but it's not going to happen. But when the when this guy comes in he's going to pitch a fit for some reason. It's not we're not going to have it, him doing what he's doing right now. He's going to pitch a fit for some reason. I don't know why and it's going to cause not only the a few of these locker doors to open, but and this stuff here to move, which I'll get to in a minute, but it's also going to cause the satchel to move down a little bit, and that will be our 
hey, there it is, kind of leading the player to say, hey, look at that, that's the, the last thing you need in this room, go get it. And since that moves down, that's a little bit closer to where the boxes are in that plane, we don't have to stay on, or we don't have to jump back on top of the, uh, the lockers, and then I can leap from the box this way towards the bag, still have this nice little dangle here, and then essentially this is what it's going to end up where I'm pulling the bag down, I still get this nice little animation, and then it gets hidden behind the box as my pack gets on my back, and we're good to go. And so here it is where I've added these two boxes or whatever the hell they are, and that way it's barrier. Now with the fact that we've suddenly decided, hey, we're going to need some of these things to move, now I'm going to have to separate some of these things so I can animate them. Obviously I'm not going to animate the whole background over and over again. That would be ridiculous and my eyes would burn and try to choke me. But I'm going to have to take a few of these things away and make them so that I can animate them in TV Paint. And or even possibly animate them in Unreal. I, I don't know. It's I mean they're going to be separated anyway. Um, and what I mean by that is if you look at the fact that, let's say when she jumps up, this is just a, 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 a collision box that says, when I touch this, when the player controller touches this box, uh, switch to the animation of her running up a wall as the player controls that, and when she gets to this little ledge here, play the animation of the ledge grab. So when she, that happens, though, she has to be on the other side of this wall here. And since it's just a two-dimensional object, what we have to do is we have to split apart certain areas. So if you see here, I went into the image and cropped, or I took a lasso tool and chopped out these images so that I can pull them forward in front of this so that when she gets on the other side, She's, uh, because this is in front, where are you? This is in front, she's hidden by it. So let me, uh, move some things around. So let me get the player start and put her back here. No wonder you fell. Now, the animation you're about to see is absolutely terrible as far as when she climbs up the wall. Um, the way that I animated it turned out not to be the way that it could, in the way that it should be as far as like how it's interacting with the wall, so that's going to be changed, but I have to qualify because it looks like shit. And I'm embarrassed by it. Okay, so basically she's going to come up here, she's going to want um, run up the wall, she's going to hit the uh, ledge node that says play the ledge grab animation and then after that she will land on this and be good to go. So let's show you what I mean. Look at that horrible animation. See? Apparently that is uh <laughs> um, so another great example of it is as far as like how we have to split these things up because they're one dimensional. I mean not one dimensional, but they're all across there's a single image across one plane and we have to trick everything into making you feel like there is, like the character is actually in interacting with this environment. So since, while she's not going to have to go through this door, there are going to be enemies that spawn through this area that I need them to look like they're actually walking out of this house. Well, of course the house is just an image, so they can't. So what I had to do is take a lasso tool, cut out a piece of this um, part of the door that will actually cover them, and I actually next time will cut out a bigger piece because I don't know why I did it so small. But then I have to move it forward. Yep. 
There we go. Just had some collision problems. So, she goes into the door. Yay! But this is why I needed to cut it shorter. Because now she comes out the other side. I'm one with whatever the hell this is. And then, what? Ah, So yeah, that's just a little look into some of the problem solving that we did and and why we did it and so on. So, cool. Well, is I am signing out from a crooked heart. Goodbye.